Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna to look at a tire from Roddy McGee, Danny Weiser, and Murphy's Magic. Now, what is a tire? A tire is a magical way that you can make a Sharpie marker just appear out of nowhere. Actually, it comes right off of your t-shirt. You wanna see the trailer for it? This is it. Does anyone have a Sharpie marker on them? I have these two right here, so I might just use this one. Well, it's a... <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and feel that. It was completely ironed on my shirt. <laughs> and I just pull it right off, just like that. And just hold on to that. A tire is a great opener. You pull an image, a Sharpie, off of your shirt and hand it out to the spectator to be used for your next routine. I just want to make sure that you've heard me correctly. You can actually hand out and use this Sharpie. I've got to warn you, a tire does have a bit of a drawback. It can potentially overshadow just about any effect that follows it. So I'm going to have you, uh, actually have yes, you hold on you. to that. Wait, stop, sure. stop, 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 stop. Just give me a quick sec. I'm going to show you a quick card trick and we're going to use that no, sharpie no, marker. No, we don't. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> a tire works with any color, any size, and any style. It's real. How does it do that? <laughs> it looked like that one. This is a tire. All right, so that was the tire. That was from Murphy's Magic. Of course, there's a couple of questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is, what's in the box? What's in the box? Uh, it's a tiny little box. Uh, I was actually kind of surprised to see how small it was. Packaging is getting smaller and smaller and smaller, folks. Uh, but what's inside? Uh, you're gonna get the patch. You're gonna get the patch gimmick that you, you know, transfer to your shirt. Of course, you need that. Uh, you're, gonna need, you're gonna get the gimmick, okay? You're gonna get the gimmick. And then you're gonna get a couple of arts and crafts DIY items so that you can keep making the gimmick a little more. Obviously, you're not going to get a Sharpie marker and you will need to modify a Sharpie marker as well. Is it what I thought? Uh, it's absolutely what I thought. Uh, I watched this and immediately I knew how it was done. Um, but I have a magician's eye, okay? That's totally different. And so I watch things as a skeptic all the time and I never look where the magician wants me to look. But don't let that detract from the power of this effect. In fact, originally, uh, when I watched the trailer, I thought, I'm never gonna do this. And then after I watched Danny explain the effect, and I watched the nuance from it, and then my mind started to turn, you know, and the gears were starting to, I was like, well, wait a minute. I might actually perform this. Because think about what an organic way this is to ring in a pen. We always pull the pen out of our pocket. What Danny has done is he's pulled the pen out of our pocket in a magical way and make sure your audience is watching because this thing is a stunner. How are the angles on this? The angles are you will need to be able to palm and produce a Sharpie marker. Is it inspectable? Uh, the parts of it that need to be inspected, that can be inspected, are inspectable. If you watch the trailer, uh, Danny makes it very organic in that he produces the pen and then uncaps it and hands them the pen. And that's the only part that they get to keep or inspect and I think that's enough. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? Murphy's Magic always makes great videos. Lots of well-edited shots, multiple shots, uh, multiple uh, teachers as well. In fact, Chris Oberly and some other uh, guests make an appearance. They offer and insert their own tips, tricks, and advice uh, over uh, Danny's teaching, which I think really adds to the flavor of the teaching and really fleshes this effect out for you. What's taught on the video? Uh, over the 40 minutes or so that is taught, you're definitely gonna get the DIY. Okay, there's a lot of uh, this is devoted to DIY and probably half of the video is just the, the rigging and the setup of this. Um, there's also some shirt options, shirt alternatives, iron-on patch alternatives that they go over. They're even going to cover uh, producing other items besides a Sharpie marker, so they'll, they'll go over that as well. They're going to go over performance, of course, and your angles. Is the gimmick well made? Of course it's well made, uh, but I will just offer, you know, it's going on to your clothing. And our clothing, uh, we get it dirty, 
we sweat in it. And so you have to throw it in the wash, which means you're gonna throw your magic items in the wash, which means over time they're probably gonna fade. How much practice does this trick require? Um, for the most part, this trick is pretty easy. Okay, it's not self-working, but it is easy. But I will say that you're gonna just have to be comfortable with ringing things in and ditching things. How much setup and reset is there? Barely any. In fact, this is a great uh, trick to use table hopping when you go from table to table. And really, you can do the reset strolling from one table to the next. Nobody would catch a thing. Positives, all right, so what are the positives to a tire? Um, a tire is a great way to produce a Sharpie marker for your next magical effect. The pen literally punches in from an alternate universe. It packs flat and you wear it well. Negatives, all right, so what are the negatives? You know, like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Um, number one, just be really careful with this. It is an iron-on patch, uh, which means it's probably gonna be permanent for the most part. You're gonna wanna put it in the wash. So just make sure it's straight when you put it on your shirt, okay? Don't be too eager, too anxious. Get your mom's help, okay? Get your mom's help, or your grandma, uh, or your dad if he likes to sew. Hey, let's not, let's not knock out dads that love to sew, cosplay. All right, so <laughs> just make sure it's straight uh, and make sure it's in the location that you want it to be you know, and make sure it's straight, okay? Make sure it's straight. But like I said, it could fade through the wash. There is that. Um, the other thing that I think is a negative, I just don't really know how stylish this is because I would wear this on a collared, like, Izod type shirt, and those shirts already have pockets. So I don't know what I would do with that. Maybe try to find a collared shirt that doesn't have a pocket. Maybe find a collared shirt and take the pocket off, maybe. Um, I don't really wear solid color t-shirts. I mean, maybe you could find one that's nice. I don't know. I mean, yeah, just, you're gonna have to think about the type of shirt you would wear and, and your own performance uh, character. Does, is your character the kind of person that wears a t-shirt, right? So just think about that. Think about uh, whether this fits your routine. Is it worth your money? You know what, it's only $25. $25 um, certainly is a good price. And I think, and just hear me out on this, if this does fit your style, you certainly could buy more than one, right? You could put this on a couple of different shirts. It's, it's affordable enough that you could move, uh, have it on a couple of different shirts, and it's affordable enough that you could do it with different colored pen caps. So let's say you buy one and you use it with a black, but let's say you have a red Sharpie marker or a blue, you could do it with that as well. You simply just take the gimmick and then pull the red Sharpie marker out and then color your gimmick red or color your gimmick blue, and then bam, you can produce a red pen or a blue pen. Or you could have two pens in your pocket and one's black and one's red. You know, there is that option too, so something to think about. Who would like this? I think there's a lot of magicians out there that love pen effects. There's like a group of you that just love pen effects and you buy every pen effect out there. And so I think this is definitely gonna speak to you. I think anybody that uses a Sharpie marker though in their routines, especially if you're gonna have a spectator sign a card before you do ambitious card or something like that, this is a great way to make that happen. All right, so that is a tire from Danny Weiser and Roddy McGee. I wanna thank Murphy's Magic for allowing me to have this trick so that I could do an unbiased review for you. And if you would like to purchase this trick for yourself, you can find it from your very favorite Murphy's Magic retailer. Thanks, bye.